Hey, Bob. I'm a Marvel. And I'm a DC. I'm on a superhero team called the X-Men. I'm on a superhero team called the Watchmen. My movie was a box office success. My movie was a possible review success. Yeah, right. Professional critics mean nothing. It's all about what the general audience thinks. The normal people who go to the movies to be entertained. When you say normal, do you mean non-mutant? Ha ha! Nice comeback! Anyways, if you go to Yahoo Movies and look at Watchmen's user review pages, you will see thousands and thousands of negative reviews. So many people want their three hours back. I mean, no one wants to see a big naked blue man group member walking around. Well, your movie isn't exactly Oscar worthy. Spill.com almost gave you a super low rating. I just told you, professional critics mean nothing. It's all about the general audience. Yeah, like some people want to see you kill your own father and see you in a war with your own half-brother. And what's up with all those cartoon stuff you call special effects? Your claws look so fake. Oh, yeah. Like a moving dot design in your mask is the best effect ever. Hmm. Warshak's journal. I found myself in a big white room with a hairy mutant freak. You know what this means? Looks like another ripoff of it's just some random guy. Whoa. Watch it, pub. This is not a ripoff. It's a parody. Yeah, right. A parody. Yes, a parody. Ever heard of one? You ever see a Saturday Night Live skit? Those are usually parodies. Look up what a parody is and then we will talk. Whatever. I mean, no one cared about your movie after the Terminator movie came out. Did someone say my movie's name? Who are you? I'm John Connor. You don't look like John Connor. Yeah, the action figure looks different from the guy in the movie. Okay, well I don't know why you would even bother showing up here. What? Why not? Well, first of all, your movie isn't exactly the best summer movie, or the best so far out of 2009. And second, you are the main character, but the story doesn't seem to revolve around you. It's more revolved around him. Do you believe people should have a second chance? Oh. You mean like a sequel to your movie to see if the director can fix it a second time? Not too sure about that. Well, I didn't think your movie was that bad. I'm just surprised you didn't make the top weekend box office. What? What movie did? Theirs. They look like freaking Happy Meals toys! Well, I hate to tell you, bub, but those Happy Meal toys outbeat you in box office. Alright now, I'm getting angry. I WANT YOU OUT OF THIS PLACE, YOU WORTHLESS EXCUSE FOR A MOVIE! Hey Connor, don't you think you're being a little too hard on the Night and the Museum characters? NO! DON'T SHUT ME UP, MARCUS! WE HAD A MILLION DOLLAR BUDGET AND EVERYTHING! WHY DID WE LOSE TO A HISTORICAL FILM? WHY?! Look Connor, relax. We can do better when the sequel comes out. Oh, so you can steal the spotlight from me again? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take your spotlight. Well, glad that's over. Anyways, despite professional critics' opinions, my movie was way better than yours. What? Yeah. I mean, no one really wants to see an owl version of Batman. Well, your movie's characters aren't any better. I mean, you changed Deadpool from a really cool ninja in red to a mute, bald freak. I mean, look at him. What? You again? Oh. That, put that, and that, and that, and that. Take that, take that. I still think this video is just a ripoff of it's just some random guy. For the last time, this is a parody, not a ripoff. Look up the meaning of the word. What? It's going to be a part two. Oh, great. More copying the random guy. Shut up.